This installation, a small installation, is a ongoing conversation that I have been having with myself about the ocean. I've had a few shows now about uh, the ocean in various forms, 2D and 3D shows, and um, whether it's political, personal, uh, spiritual even, uh, I'm really affected by the water and the ocean in particular. Living on an island, being an islander, we're obviously affected by the ocean around us, strategically and, I believe, emotionally. Uh, this particular installation is about the nautical chart. As a sailor, I spend the summer on my boat and we read and pour over the nautical charts all day and all night and um, they are with us all the time. We are constantly looking at them to navigate our way safely through the water, find safe anchorages, stay away from ferries, stay through, going through um, dangerous passageways. Everything needs to be studied through the nautical chart to make our way through our physical environment. As an artist, the nautical chart is a really beautiful book and map. It is full of lines, markings, symbols, and I think they're absolutely beautiful. And so as an artist and a sailor, I've tried to combine these two elements and bring it into the installation. And so what I wanted to do with the installation was experiment drawing the nautical chart with tape. I've done some tape drawings in the past and really enjoy it because the tape automatically explodes a small drawing into something really large scale. So it's, it, you don't really know what you're gonna get, but to me, it, they're really beautiful and interesting and fun. They're actually really fun. And so um, another aspect of the nautical chart that I really enjoy is my connection to the past because the nautical charts originally started with the first uh, chart makers exploring our waterways and they would sail through areas on their tall ships drawing out the charts and marking rocks and marking sandy bays and those marks are still on the nautical chart today and when we sail through an area and I I'm looking at the chart and finding areas where there's a lot of rocky patches or nice quiet bays that are marked on the chart. I know 150 years ago somebody found those rocks and marked them for seafarers today and it's a really interesting connection to the past when you're on the water and using the charts. And on our boat, we don't have any electronic equipment. We have no electronic GPS. We just use the charts and we just use the old instruments that come with them to chart our way and navigate our way through the water. And I find this is a really great connection to the past. The map that I've created of Vancouver Island is an actual map of all the waterways on Vancouver Island. I traced out each one, each and every single one, and which was in itself a really interesting experience. 
and that's what started this whole project, to be honest. And um, I hope to continue. I think uh, I'll definitely be doing a lot more investigation into the ocean and combining my experience with sailing and my art.